All right, what's going on, my people? I decided that I do have a poll for y'all to vote on the next game. So I'll put a link for that. But I want to play the Telltale Game of Thrones. Y'all like The Wolf Among Us, Walking Dead, Life is Strange, Have You Ran Beyond Two Souls? If y'all like those, I think you're going to like this. I did play this on my first channel. I played like the first 10 minutes of the game, but that's about it. So, you know the drill. Hands and feet inside the ride at all times. Favorite part of the video is a timestamp in the comment section if you see any funny moments. But without further ado, Telltale Game of Thrones. The trout, the trout, the trout in the tower, the wolf dropped the fish and they all ran away. The trout, he fought the hog, but I was a trout, so that's a wall to pray. Another wall to pray. Two weddings, two beddings brought on by the headings, the dying they jokes to me. Two weddings, two beddings brought on by the headings, and all is happily. The great Jamie Lannister. Kingslayer, Oathbreaker, brought to his knees by the men of the North. And set free by the women. You'd think he done it himself the way he tells it. Old Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Alright, so I, I think I, I remember this part. Let's pick it up. Make sure it's spotless this time. Old Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Go on, it's only blood. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. <laughs> you? I'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. <laughs> and if we're being honest. Oh, don't be an ass, Bowen. <laughs> Apologies, your lordship. I had Andy, you know. <laughs> Andy him what? Capturing him! He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. Shh! Let him finish. Oh, he'll talk all night if you let him. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. A hand round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. You do it. You're his squire. It's your job, not mine. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forest <clears throat> for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach, and House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> Fetch your cup. The night we celebrate. He gonna let me get a sip of that drink? <laughs> sure. To Rob Stark, the King in the North! The King of the North! The King of the North! Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard! The gods have favored us. Onward to Casterly Rock! Aye! Death to the Lannisters! Aye! Winter is coming! Aye! Let's hope it waits till this bloody war's over. Got it. Okay, so I remember all this stuff. I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. 
I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question, what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. What do you mean? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? You served me well. To bring honor to House Forrester, my lord. You have more honor than those who were born to it. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Sir, I just got promoted, baby! Got a new job! Bloody hell. Didn't he? Yeah, bitch. Quiet. Fetch us more wine. Can you give me a hand? Hell no! Come on. Can I get up to you? All right. No problem. I have been a squire longer than you. So? I outrank you. You should help me. I ain't gotta do shit. I'ma help you, but I ain't got to do nothing. Fetch more wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. Oh, shut up, Bowen. See, that's why you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in big shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. Just shut your mouth. It's the truth. It's not like I'm making it up. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. All in wine around a fucking wedding. I'm sick of listening to your wine. Real that shit. Attitude, you'll never be more than this. Easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castle, then I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? That's right over there. Now, I remember this. The Red Wedding, baby. Y'all, you see? Yeah, what y'all know about the Red Wedding, man? Huh? Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing Lord Walder's in a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. It's not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What? What's wrong? Just gotten into you. You're acting rather odd. We need to get back. Now. They're fine. They can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. <laughs> but what about... What the hell was that about? Slow down, would you? Run! Let's go, we gotta move! They're about to kill every motherfucker in the game! <laughs> now I remember this part. I just spit all in my hands. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> we need to get back to camp. I just told you, you gonna booty tame me. I just said that, bro. Nah. <laughs> Alright, let's move. <laughs> we got some QTEs coming, bro. Run for it! Garen, we have to get back. <laughs> King. Can I get some help? Grab it! Bust him in the face with the shit! 
thank you. Ready, boys! Damn, look at this. Shoot that one! Bro, I got me the shield. It's not gonna happen. What? Oh, shit. I messed up. We okay, though. We good. We good. We not good. We not good. We not good. Run that back. I thought I pushed it. <laughs> All right, we're going to try it again. I wasn't ready. See what I'm saying? Ready, boys. Low. Shoot that one. Well, now we ready for your boy right here. What? The, the dumbass out of here, baby. Ray Lewis. Game time. Oh shit! We gotta hurry up. Crawl, crawl faster. I totally missed that. I didn't know that was coming. Oh goodness! We can't get squashed! Alright, we good now. Oh, I wanted to keep that shield. Get out of here. I'm trying to choke me out. Somebody help me, please. <laughs> Crunch. His head said crank. Damn, he got squashed by a horse. Why do people yell out people's names in the middle of a battle? You don't do that shit. Got it. Did you find Roderick? Hey, he's gone, my lord. There was nothing I could do. Find a weapon, quickly! Oh, that's what I'm talking about. It's about to be my time. What's up? Ooh, he got split in two. Not afraid, you fucking traitor. Go, my lord, while there's still time. We have to keep moving, my lord. I'd never make it. They'll hunt us down like dogs. Well, the Frey says time to <gasps> Guard this with your life. Return it to Ironrath, where it belongs. There's no... I'd be damned if I let it fall into the hands of those traitors. Well, the says you have to go. I, I won't leave you, you my lord. You can, and you will. My lord, By I... the gods, you will obey me. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle, Duncan. The future of the house may depend on it. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters! Now go. On your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those uh. fucking foresters! <laughs> we love the world afraid!
They killed him! He go! So one iron from ice. Okay, I, this is where I left off last time. So this is like the new part. Looks like I'm the only person that made it up out of there. Let's call him from the Wolf Among Us just crossing the road and shit. Alright, so let's see what we're looking for. Can we slice him up? Has something to eat? Blood. Fresh. So who, you think you Inspector Gadget or some shit now? Damn. some type of danger you still walking around like you got all the time in the world you better hurry your ass up we got time for this shit that's father's car <laughs> lord bolton better give us fucking titles for this winter may be coming but at least still have his bacon That's funny, y'all just out here killing pigs. No belong, boy. There's nothing for you here. <coughs> Father. I said move on. I'm going to kill you. What's up? What's up That's now? So. You can try if you like. And then we'll feed you to the pigs. Get off my land. This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new warden of the north. I reckon he like a proper lordly sword like that. What's up? Wait, where I push? Oh, I'm good. <laughs> no. I'll have that sword, boy. Fuck you. Right? What's up? Okay, but my, my sword skills might not be that good. Shit! Somebody help me, man! Save me! Alright. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. Pathetic. Man, you ain't got no lines. They hired you off a of Craigslist, bitch. You really are. I want the axe. <laughs> got him! That's one down. Are right, you want some? Nah. Man, these dudes are slow as shit. Boy, that's right, Lewis. Game time, baby. Welcome to the NFL. Oh shit, my leg. Oh wait, all right, wait, wait a minute, wait. Oh, almost missed it. Got him. Mercy, please. I beg of you. Hell no. Nah. I don't get. Never survive without me. I have no quarrel with you. Man, no, please. It's a dumb deal, bro. Cause you was out to kill me. See you hang for this. That much I promise. <laughs> Is you mad, there, man? There'll be no mercy this time. I'm killing bitches. This this walkthrough, bitches is dying. Father? Garrett, you survived. Your, your sister. She hid. I 
I tried to stop them. Damn. He got that Bean Pie hat on. I'll kill the one who did this. Bean Pie, my brother. Damn, so he has like basically like nobody left uh. Jeez. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Garrett! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the Maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! Two White Hill soldiers? And a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. Jeez. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Hmm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. It was justice. They got what they deserved. They did indeed. We can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Woo! You should so get some of that ointment. No, that's what he need, that ointment for your leg. Ointment. That's the only thing that work. How you ain't got no ointment? It's 2015. Uh. What the f what, now what kind of shit is that? These are dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. <sighs> Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house, I or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Alright. Well, we're looking alright. Fixed our leg up a little bit. I'm sure it still hurts. But we ain't gonna lose our legs, so we should be alright. First of all, let's look out the window. The Ironwood Grove. I can't believe not many YouTubers played this game. I am shocked. Because they played all the other Telltale games. They didn't play this one. I even seen dudes playing the Minecraft shit. The Minecraft story mode. That's hilarious. Alright. Um. I think I'm, I'm looking good though.
Mirror. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Who's that? Oh, okay, we got everybody on here. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Wasn't that good? Got his ass clanked. So this is the Forrester family. It's the oldest son. It's probably the second oldest son. We have Lady Forrester here. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a Forrester myself. Alright, learn more about the Forrester's on the menu codex page. We ain't gonna read hmm. that shit right now. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior loot. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. And what we have here? This might help. All right, let's see. I don't. I, let me look around and see if I maybe missed anything in this room. I don't think I did, though. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. All right, I'm good. It's a good thing you've done, bringing that back to House Forrester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. That sword has been handed down through 50 generations of Foresters. Keep moving, I need to see you walk. Man, I can I do so? Ain't nobody got time. All right, let me calm down. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrod. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrod, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... So sorry. Mato. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything... I'm sorry, my lady. Nothing could be done to save him. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us. Especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed, if you can remember? He asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Roiland. I do. 
But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They attacked me. And they'll say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. It's an argument you cannot win. We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. They deserve to die. All of them. I say we fight. Ha! Listen to your nephew. He speaks sense. With what army? Our best men were killed at the Twins, along with our lord. Then what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But... I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. Fuck the Boltons. One of their men killed my family. Aye. You'll say it was justice. They'll say it was murder. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. What? Cannot stay? Duncan. You can't send me away. We have no choice, Garrett. Where would you have the boy go? The one place that's safe. Beyond the reach of the Boltons. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong! Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. I'll do what's best for the house. So I'll go. I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. The story about to get good, y'all, if you actually watch Game of Thrones. It settles it then. I go to be a man of the night's watch! You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. And don't be act like you did me a favor. You came me out! I was born here, man! When you go to the wall, you can't even have, you can't even smash no chicks, man. Were it up to me, I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given a chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. I'll do what's best. Which often isn't what's easiest, but necessary nonetheless. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said, tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. I need to know the truth. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. <clears throat> I should have asked him what it was, and I didn't. My bad. I don't know what they talking about.
Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the war will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll make you proud. You already have. And with that, I stop the video. I guess when we do part two or episode two, we will be going to the Night's nice Watch. I hope you all enjoy. Give this story some time to open up. Um, if you like The Wolf Among Us and stuff, I don't see why you wouldn't like this. If this episode gets 2,500 likes, I'll put up two episodes of this, maybe even three, depending on how much time I got tomorrow. 2,500 likes, two episodes. 3,000 likes, three episodes. We'll do it like that. But I'm going to catch you all later. Um, also, as always, we're going to give away a $50 gift card or a copy of this game. All you have to do is comment below. And um, if you read, if you watch this whole video, I need you to in the comment section to say buttermilk biscuit. Yeah? All right, y'all.